Hello there and welcome to another episode of RC Car Mods with the RC Ninja here. About to show you something really cool today. What I've been wanting to do for, God, ever since I've owned a RC car is I've wanted to know how I can test out battery life, engine power, all that kind of rad stuff, you know. Real cars, big cars, they do it on a proper dyno test and they get some real accurate results, they can make some changes and then they can show you uh, what these changes have done and tune a car basically. So what I thought is, well, how can we do that for our own car mods? How can we do that for our own RC car? Well, what we can do is we can make one of these. This is our own RC dyno test. The first thing you'll need to do is cut four pieces of wood to lengths to house the rolling road for your dyno. And do this under the watchful eye of the Ninja Master. Make sure each piece is measured to accommodate the length of each axis that you will be using. So very quickly we will show you what uh, you need to make <coughs> a very simple RC dyno. Um, it's planks of wood, I've already cut these to length, um, easily done with a new axle, which is brilliant. Um, we're going to make some filing because we want to make it nice and neat and clean and make sure that it spins very easily. Probably need a hammer, you know, laying around. Um, some corner pieces, so we have some corner pieces here which we will stick on there so that we can put them in and make ourselves a nice little box. Potentially you've got to box yourself at home. Um, I got some of these uh, from the hardware store. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these into here, I'm going to screw it tight, and then a length of pipe here, like you'll see, um, which this will then go into, and should spin nice and easily. Always needs a Tarzan grip. Oh, and like anyone, you're going to be a real builder, got to have yourself a chopping. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to open our chop book. Have a good drink of that, now we're ready to go. So, we have here, bought from the hardware, a couple of bucks, and we're gonna make this our rolling road. Comes to about 30 centimeters. You'll see that. Well, what we'll do is we'll leave a little bit of a gap on here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm Going to cut it to 27 centimeters. And as my old man always said, measure twice, cut once. Or cut twice if you need two pieces. Alright, two bits. What we'll do. Right through here, check, thumbs up. Now I'm going to screw this back. So, this bit here, two bits again from the reticulation center at, uh, at the hardware store. This one's a cap, keeps it nice and neat, uh, and this one is like a nut that goes in between. So, I'm going to use them to clamp that on the thread. What we'll do is screw that on. Can't screw to whatever length we want. That's good. A little bit of looseness in there, which is fine. Put the cap on the end. I don't know if you hopefully you can see that. But there's a rolling mode. Same again on the other side.
they have it. So what I was saying before about having this cap and this nut is that we should be able to almost clamp this onto one side here. And then again using the other side, praying mantis style. Whoppa! But what we want to do is we want to sink this into here. So it can't move back and forth like so. So we'll sink it down here. Now, old trusty file. Again, pick these up for about $7 from the hardware store. Uh, should be very nice and easy. What we might do is we might have a look at the car. We've got a little car here. It's not a big one. Obviously, as you see, I made it bigger so you can make it larger or smaller or such and such. Um, but this is where we want to have our, our rolling road. That look about in the centre. If I mark that here. I mark one as the centre. Down here. And the other side as the centre as well. That should give us the exact distance for the two wheels. Now again, you make it as big as you want for your car. But that will work for mine. And what we'll do is we'll simply mark that on here as well. So we keep it all very nice. As you see there, that'll be where we'll mark our arm bits. So, what I've got here yeah. is on a file like this. It works out to be about the same radius. Here, which should be fantastic. Okay. What we'll do is we will start Yeah! There you have it. As this is a very important step, make sure your safety manager checks the quality of your work. So now we've kind of got the idea. Stable it up a little. These ones that I cut earlier. Does that grip? Love the cars and grip. Oh, top one. Pop the cherries in my stuff. All you deviants out there. Using your taz and grip, enhance the strength in the corners of the box. Oh! You'll need to download Simple Dino from the link below. It will take a bit of time to set up, but this will assist you in getting used to the ninja moves that can be formed by Simple Dino. Get into it, fill the details of your car, and you'll get more accurate readings. If 
Hello, 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 hello. Okay, RC Ninjas, we've now got your rolling road and we've set up your simple dyno. All we need to do is put it together and give it a test. Everything work. RC Ninja, happy. So here we go. Now everything is dry and all sorted. We have our rolling roads here completed. I thought I'd give you a bit of a closer look. Basically two bits of PVC pipe on here becomes a rolling road with a pin down the middle. Um, you're always gonna need some sort of axle. And what we've actually done is we have put a high powered magnet onto the back roller. This will then work with the microphone when we go up in there, as you'll see, it's got a bit of power. And that will give us the readings. Every time it turns around, it will give us a reading and that will give you your watts uh, and all your details for your dyno. The next thing we need to do is tighten it all up and put the car. You'll see the graphics on the car have changed. Now looking rad and tidy. Click here to watch that episode. on the road. Using a hot gun and some toothpicks, create an A-frame attached to your earpiece so we can use this to hold the earpiece steady on the dyno. Now glue the A-frame to the rolling road. Oh hi! Quickly before the glue sets, give one final check. You'll be able to feel when the magnet pulls, and this is how you'll know everything is good. Oh, that's rad! So that's great, now we have the dyno working, okay? We've got it reading off the speaker here into the system that's on here. Um, the next thing we need to do is find a way to keep this car so it sits on the top here. Most real dyno tests, you know, that you'll see uh, actually have some straps or something that go uh, to hold the car on. So we'll need to get some sort of strapping for ourselves uh, to hold it on there and then we should be good to go. has their way of eating Vegemite, even straight from the jar. But there's one thing we all agree on, we love our Vegemite. So Ninjas, we needed something to stop the car from moving on the dyno test. Uh, some people will choose to use some leads or something and tie the front and the back in or something like that. Um, I have found that that can cause it to be held down a little bit much, which is give you the correct reading um, it might slow it down or it just gives it a little bit too much friction you want to know what the car does when it's just driving along any normal road uh, hence the rolling road so what I've done is I have cut a bit of wood some of the spare wood from when I made the box for the rolling road to go on to uh, I've cut that out if you can see here I've just measured and cut a couple of slits that actually meet the sides of the road. Um, I've chiseled that out. Sorry I didn't have time to record that. 
it went flat and I should have charged it earlier but it's very simple measure it out cut it up uh, and just chisel it out so it fits neatly over the top uh, I've also stuck on this rad detail um, just popped to me that Aristos style again just popped to me while I was doing it out there I saw the sticker and I thought that'll be rad uh, so let's go ahead and see if it works So that works very well. Um, what you can do, if it's not snug and it doesn't fit tightly, what you could do is you could put some bolts on either side. Um, you could maybe have a few holes all the way up the line. That way you can put a bigger car on there, a smaller car on there. You know, as we said, we could move this. Uh, you can move that as well because they just screw in there. So you can actually make this adaptable to any car that you've got, any new car you might get. Um, and then that's yours to keep and you can test all this cool stuff out. So now what I'll do is I'll set the dyno test up to revs per minute. This will give me an accurate reading to know how many turns I'm getting on my dyno. I will use this as my gauge because I understand it. Other RC ninjas might like other things. another episode of RC Car Mods. I hope this dyno helps you progress your RC Ninja styles and gets you to where you want to go. Subscribe and watch for our next videos or go back and have a look at some of our others. All the best, RC Ninja.